I'm going to get started. Um, so today, let me just warn you, it's a tough day today. I'm sorry. But um, the good part uh, is that we'll be repeating a lot of this stuff throughout the quarter. Uh, but I'm introducing this stuff, and it, it's, it's a little bit, it's a lot, all kind of compressed in one hour. Okay. So um, we're going to get started. So. All right, claim, reason, evidence, warrant. So you read that section in the craft of research, and, and I'm basically going to go over that section um, and uh, relate it to the Hobbes, okay? Um, so let's start, we'll start easy, all right? Um, claim, reason, and evidence. So the claim is a primary thesis. So it's, it's a thesis, and it's really the one that you're trying to prove, right? So that's pretty basic, right? So you all know you write an essay, you have a thesis, right? And that's basically, the main argument you're trying to make. Okay, so far so good. Next, we have a, a reason. Um, so when you're making your arguments, um, you use reasons to make your arguments. So it's basically a logical argument that supports the claim you're trying to make, right? Um, now key here is that um, the reason um, supports the claim through logic alone. You know, so you, you, you don't really need to point to anything in the world. You just, you know, you state the reason, and that reason um, should be sufficient to demonstrate the claim, right? Just logically, right? Um, so the other point, though, to, to keep in mind is that the reason itself is also a claim, right? Uh, and sometimes also needs to be supported by other reasons or, or evidence, right? Um, but it's called a reason here. Uh, because it's serving to demonstrate the truth of a claim. So it's, it's not the final argument that you're trying to make, but rather it's, it's one of the arguments you're making in order to prove um, the final claim that you want to make, right? So, um, so there's, a, there's that relationship between reason and claim that, that, um, th that produces the fact that, th that the reason is a reason, but it's also, you could really also consider it to be a claim in its own right, um, to the extent that you're, you're trying to demonstrate um, that reason as being itself something that's true, right? So, um, so reason is, a, is a, it's basically it's a kind of claim um, that um, is being used to support another claim, okay? So, so those are claim and reason, right? And there's a, a logical relationship between reason and claim, okay? Even though, the, even though they're, they're both um, essentially similar things, okay? So next we have the evidence, okay? Um, the evidence um, is different from the reason because it's actually something in the world that you're gonna be pointing to um, that demonstrates to you that the reason is true, right? So it's not just through logic um, that you can come up with evidence, or I guess you, know, I guess you, could, you could use I guess you, you could say logic can, can serve as a kind of evidence, I suppose. But even, even, even there, um, I, mean, I think really strictly speaking, the evidence really needs to be something that you can point to somehow. I mean, it might be something that you point to where you're pointing to, 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 to the way you, you might imagine something or the way your brain works, right? So it might actually not be something um, that's, that's sitting out as an object somewhere. Uh, but it's still something that really needs to be pointed out, in a sense, right? Um, so, in a sense, so, so, so one of the characteristics of evidence is that it needs to be verifiable by others in order to be believable. So somebody else has to be able to say, oh, okay, I can see that as well, the same way that you can see that, right? Um, and so it really, but, so in generally, generally speaking, you, you know that it's evidence because you have to point to it somehow, right? Um, so there's, the, the type of evidence that you're using, though, will be different depending upon the methodology you're using. So, so different disciplines are going to be using different kinds of evidence, right? So in the humanities, we're often, often using quotes from texts as evidence, right? But that's certainly pointing to something. You've got a text and you're pointing to those words, and that's, that serves as evidence. Um, uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing a, maybe a social science project, you might be looking at um, uh, opinion polls, and that would constitute uh, the evidence uh, for uh, for the claim, the, for the reason or the claim that you're trying to make, right? Um, it might be, you know, in the natural sciences, often it's measurements. You know, you're, you're measuring, you know, the, the temperature or you're measuring the, uh, the, the pressure or something like that, but it's, it's a measurement, and that constitutes then um, the evidence for your, for your reason or for your claim, 
right? But in any case, it's the, the, the evidence is something you're going to be pointing to, so it's that's, that, that, that dif distinguishes it from the reason, because the reason is not something really it's out in the world, it's, it's an argument, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a logical argument, okay? So those are the three basics uh, of every argument, right? They all contain those three parts, uh, otherwise there's something missing. And in fact, often, you know, when you're going to be reading texts, um, you'll, you'll see two of the parts, and then the one of the parts maybe is not very clear. It's not explicitly stated, but it's kind of implied somewhere, and you'll have to kind of fill in the blanks um, in order then to describe the full argument of the text, right? And so a lot of what we're going to be doing this quarter is analyzing arguments, and in analyzing the arguments, we're going to be um, looking at uh, what these components, identifying these different components of, uh, of the argument, right? And let's just uh, give you a, a simple example, uh, an example they used in the craft of research, but I don't think in the, in the section that, that we read. Um, in any case, um, claim it rained last night, right? So that's, that's a claim we can, we can make, right? Um, and then <coughs> the evidence that I can point to is just, oh, the streets are wet, right? And so that's, that's my evidence, you can point to it, right? Um, and then the reason then is that this wetness is a sign of rain, right? So when we see wetness, um, we, we conclude that it rained, right? Um, and so that would be the reason, right? And so the, the reason is one where you say, oh, well, you don't have to actually point to wetness in order to have that reason, right? You could just say, well, wetness is a sign of rain, and then you know, that would lead us to that conclusion that it rained last night, regardless of, it, of, of whether it did or, or whether we find the wetness, right? But it's, it's finding the wetness that really um, kind of clinches it for the claim that it actually did rain last night, right? So, you know, pretty basic, right? We got, you know, we got all the pieces here in, in these three sentences, and it all pretty much makes sense, yeah?